Barely able to breathe, yet Fatima Ahmed spoke for a city. Sky News told the story of the baby born with two heads in May last year. Her mother Shakria pleaded for help. Why was her child, one of an increasing number born with deformities since the war, like this? Fifteen months on, we went back to see what had happened to Fatima. We discovered the little girl had died before reaching her fourth birthday. Shukriya Ahmed was not alone in her frustration. We also met the family of Tiba Afdan, born with a massive growth which was rapidly spreading across the little girl's face. It's been an uphill struggle, but for Tiba things are getting better. Her parents used all the money they had and with the help of family and friends took her to neighboring Jordan to be operated on. Many of the women we spoke to in Fallujah say they won't risk having more children, so great is their fear of giving birth to a deformed child. And even since we started investigating last year, things seem to have got worse. Case after case of differing deformities without any real explanation, except their parents' suspicions that the deformities were caused by chemicals such as white phosphorus used by the Americans during the war. This little girl has an abnormal abdomen. Her baby brother has the same condition. And this is just a snapshot of children with problems, all born within the last eight months. Look at the hand of this child, with its misshapen limb and too many fingers. Some of the other pictures we've obtained are far too shocking to show. In this baby unit, we found Safa Naji celebrating the birth of a healthy little boy. He's waited eight years for a child. Doctors told him problems conceiving may also be the result of weapons used during the war. But you don't have to go far in the corridors of the hospital to find families filled with sorrow instead of joy. Just like Fatima Ahmed, here's another little girl with an enlarged head and a short life expectancy. Another child of Fallujah, born with a blighted future. Lisa Holland, Sky News.